My name's Helen Peterson. I'm a senior structural engineer. I work at SKM and I've worked in the mining industry for about the last 22 years. I'm also the president of the WA Division of Engineers Australia this year, which is the professional body for engineers. Engineering is very important for society. Um, all around you is engineering, so the, the built environment requires engineers to build it. Our transport systems, our uh, water supply, our energy supply, they all require engineers to, uh, to design and build these things. Even in the hospitals, all the medical equipment has engineering input to it. So there are a lot of different fields of engineering and you can do anything with an engineering degree. Um, you can go anywhere. So uh, it really is a very broad career. Starting off with an engineering degree can take you anywhere. For me, I uh, work with mining structures mostly. So I design the structures that hold up equipment in, in minerals processing plants. Uh, they're usually large steel structures with large concrete foundations. And uh, the reward for me is to be able to go to site and see some of those built. So I've quite often done the design and then, and then followed them right through the completion. I really enjoyed chemistry in high school and I wanted to go somewhere with that, but I also really enjoyed physics and maths. Uh, so I really wanted a degree that sort of combined everything I enjoyed and gave me a good career path, which was chemical engineering for me. Chemical engineers generally uh, take raw materials like crude oil or iron ore or anything like that and process it to make more valuable or useful materials for society. Engineers are problem solvers basically, so they help society with any problems they might have, um, whether it's making something more efficient or reducing the environmental impact of something. Engineers are involved in that process, so that's something which is kind of an inspiration for becoming an engineer, I think. The project I'm working on is a biomedical engineering project. Uh, we work very closely with the surgeon who has an idea for an implant, um, and it's a, a, new, a novel uh, implant for the spine. Um, and so basically we're working on uh, developing this implant, testing it, and then hopefully the aim of the project is to have it ready for clinical testing in human. The idea of the implant is quite novel, um, specifically in the cervical spine. Um, there are other devices, other dynamic devices, which is what we're trying to uh, achieve in the lumbar spine, but not in the cervical spine because of the really a very small bone anatomy. Um, so it is, I guess, as far as we know, a world's first. I currently work for DNV, um, Detnos Veritas. We're an um, independent foundation with the purpose of safeguarding life, property and the environment. Uh, we basically provide risk management services to wide ranging industry from maritime oil and gas um, and also we do a fair bit of certification work. I personally get to be involved in a lot more of the technology um, advances that are going on oil and gas, so I get to see apply a lot of the theoretical knowledge that I've learned and see how we're using that knowledge to advance, say, from oil and gas to various other industries. Um, plus also the fact of my work, I get to travel a fair bit as well is also a benefit. I've been to Singapore, Malaysia, Norway and London. Yeah, there's definitely lots of chances to travel and work overseas with engineering. And there's also chances to help out um, in third world countries as well. I was born in Indonesia. I came here uh, when I was in year eight. So I started uh, high school here um, and I did my undergraduate study obviously in Australia as a permanent resident. I think studying in Australia has definitely been a positive experience for me. Um, I guess I have been here for, for quite a while now and um, a lot of my friends are Australian. So um, I think, yeah, it's just about uh, definitely being able to immerse yourself in the culture rather than staying within your own circle of friends. Engineering is very male dominated, but to me it didn't really make too much of a difference. So I came from an all girls school um, and I realised a couple of weeks into the degree that yeah, I was in a lecture with maybe 70% guys, but they're just people in the end, uh, just like girls. So it doesn't really make too much of a difference. But the ratio of uh, females to males in engineering is definitely improving thanks to programs that are set up to encourage females in engineering. So there's scholarships, um, there's employment programs in different engineering companies and obviously with the women in engineering group that we've started at Curtin, that also helps. So it's improving over time and hopefully one day we won't need um, these sorts of programs even because it'll be 50-50 split. Um, I think uh, girls in high school, if they like uh, the line of uh, work, such as engineering or science and uh, mathematics, 
I think it's um, it's definitely a, a great career to pursue. Um, I don't think they should be intimidated by um, the fact that it's a male-dominated world at all because I think women um, in that case actually has definitely a, an advantage um, to bring into the engineering industry. Usually based on my experience women have a little bit more attention to detail and they're able to juggle multiple projects at the same time a little bit better than men and um, that's certainly in engineering consultant that's what you have to do on a daily basis. You will be working on several different projects um, so that is definitely a, a very good skill for women um, to bring into engineering. And there is definitely a lot more women uh, now than in the past and I, I assume that it will only uh, it will only increase in the future. Engineers Australia has a women engineering group and the purpose of the group is to provide support and networking so that women can come together, talk about the issues they face in common in the workplace and to um, provide networks to, to give them support and employment networks. The reason I got involved with Women in Engineering Curtain Division was because I realised that there is sort of quite a big difference in the male-female ratios in engineering. So I wanted to do something to help that out and to make engineering as a career more diverse. And uh, the Women in Engineering Club helps to provide a support network for girls and sort of encourages them to keep going with their degree. Through all the clubs that there are at Curtin, so there's the Engineers Club, there's Wicked, which I'm involved with, there's the Association of Chemical Engineering Students, um, they all help to link you up with employers and help to network to get you employment opportunities. Uh, the other thing is the pavilion, um, which has just been sort of constructed, is really new and it gives you a really big space to help with studying and socialising. Uh, my highlight at my time at Curtin was being involved with the Curtin Motorsport Team. The Curtin Motorsport Team is a volunteer student-run organisation with the purpose of basically designing and building a small open-wheel race car in a year. So that gave me the opportunity to apply all the theoretical knowledge that I was learning at Curtin into a more practical aspect and also got to teach me some very important skills like project management which is quite vital to be able to work in industry. Um, I originally started out just as a normal team member and then progressed up to being the project manager in my final year. So that was quite an honour to be the project manager. Engineering as a career is, is a, a community building um, career. It contributes to our economy, it contributes to our society. It provides um, all the infrastructure that we need as a community and um, it contributes enormously to our economy. So it's a very um, useful and constructive career. Uh, if you've got a bit of a sense of adventure or you um, want an interesting and, and varied career, engineering is probably the career for you. Based on my experience, um, I, I don't think there's much prejudice against women in, in the industry nor at university level. Um, I think that is definitely sort of a thing of the past and um, as long as you come in with an open mind um, and, and with the right attitude, I think you won't be prejudiced against. For any students that are thinking about coming to Curtin, I would definitely recommend it. Um, I had a thoroughly enjoyable time here. I have a very good theoretical and practical engineering courses here, so you'll enjoy it a lot.